Hi, my name is Paul, and today we are doing the uh, beginning the assembly on a C264 International Harvester block. Uh, it belongs to that Farmall 400, which is uh, undergoing repair. The original block for that tractor uh, was cracked beyond repair. Water entered into the exhaust manifold and ruined the head and split the block. So we're acquired another block, and we're in the process of uh, starting the reassembly. So today we're putting in the cam bearings. I've already put in the, the middle cam bearing and the frontmost cam bearing. Now we're doing the rearmost cam bearings. Uh, the cam bearings are three different sizes, the largest in the front, the medium size, and the smallest in the back. Um, in the installation of the cam bearings, uh, my motor shop was kind enough to loan me some uh, tools. And this is a cam bearing insertion tool. It fits the ID of the bearing, well, probably about 10,000 slop. And it's a little smaller on the OD of the bearing on the head, which allows you to drive it further into the hole if necessary. So uh, basically it's real important that you orient the, the oil way in the bearing in line with the uh, oil way on the block. So what I've done is I've inserted a screwdriver uh, after removing the main bearing cap through the oil way and then taken a yellow crayon and scribed where that line needs to be. Now I'm gonna just carefully align the bearing so that it lines up with that oil way before I drive it into position because once you put it in, you can't rotate it. So I'm just going to situate it at this point and just gently start it with a hammer just to kind of hold it in place. And it's, uh, of course, it's very critical that these bearings are held true uh, as you drive them in. So since I've got the front two bearings installed already, I don't want to score up the front bearing. So what I've done is I've taken a roll of electrical tape, which uh, allows me to pass the rod through it pretty centered, which I've removed enough tape off the roll to allow it to kind of position in that bearing without moving. Uh, kind of a snug fit is basically a simple centering device where I can pass it through the two bearings I've installed to keep my driving rod centered. And I insert it into my uh, bearing insertion tool and everything looks good. And I'm just gonna gently tap that in, watching how it starts, making sure everything is moving reasonably square, and it is. And I'm just gonna tap that in. The bearing's moving nicely. Watching your progress as you go. My oil hole is about to disappear into the block and it's lined up nicely with my line. Now I've got my bearing flush and at this point I'm going to check to make sure everything's going okay. I don't want to overdrive my bearing if necessary. Just looking at my oil alignment hole shows that I've got just a little farther to go. So we'll tap that in just a little more and we'll be done with it. Simple as that.